We've all had the experience, well, when you're browsing the web or watching a video, uh, all of a sudden the internet starts to drag. So what's the first thing we go to? We restart our modem, a router, and then like magic, everything is working and running again as it should. But why do you have to do this? Why do you have to go through all the hassle? Well, the answer to this question lies inside of the modem itself. I have one here that I'm gonna take apart for you and explain what's going on on the inside. Inside of your modem or router is an actual computer itself. You have your CPU, you have your RAM, your ROM, and all of this generates heat. It has its own threshold for usage too. And because most all routers and modems use this passive cooling, meaning it doesn't have any fans, when they are heavily used, the heat can build up and overload the system and cause them to bog down. There are easy ways to prevent this. One is just keeping them six inches away from any wall. Uh, another one is to give them plenty of space and try not to keep them at full bore 24 seven. Some routers or modems will actually show you how much ROM or CPU is being used at any given time. You can check this by typing in your default gateway's IP address into your web browser and looking for the performance settings. If you don't know how to find your default gateway's IP, follow these steps. Click on the start menu and then type in CMD. You'll see an application pop up called command prompt. Click that and then type IP config. Somewhere on there you will see the default gateway, a bunch of little dots followed by an IP address. The most common ones being 192.168.1.1 or 10.0.0.1. Anytime you go from a website to a website, your router has to fetch the IP address for the site that you're trying to reach. And based off the domain name that you put in, it'll give you a different IP address. For example, if you go to google.com, the IP address for Google is 172.217.10.142. Your router can store all of that on its ROM, so then when you're going back and forth from one site to another, your router can fetch the information quickly for you. Going back to the inside. The reason that restarting your modem or router can be beneficial is that it gives them a chance to refresh and clear their CPU and ROM of anything that's been bogging it down or that it's been holding on to for too long. A few other things to check is if your router or modem needs an update. Uh, sometimes that having out of date firmware can cause compatibility issues that will clog up your system and make everything run slower. I hope this has helped explain to you what's going on inside your system and why it needs to be reset from time to time. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you liked this video, leave me a like and subscribe for more content in the future. Otherwise, I'm Waylon and this is Set the PCs.